Our first email is from Brother Hussein. He says, I wanted to know regarding male haircut. Islam Q&A says that it has to be the same length, etc., which I believe is also a Salafi site said it can be different lengths. Which is more correct? I like to keep small scissors cut on tip. What's the smallest number I can have on the sides? First of all, Islam Q and A dot info is one of the most trusted Islamic websites in the world. And I have experienced this website for the past like 20 years, maybe more since the mid 90s or late 90s. And they work really hard and they ask scholars directly and take the fatwas from real scholars, not like us, Tom, Dick or Harry. So it is a trusted website and the fatwas are also trustworthy. However, in so many cases, the issue is with our understanding or in comparing apple to apple. So it is not advisable for a layman to go and look for an answer to his question that may not fit the question that he's reading on that website. People divorce their wives and all of a sudden they say, I found a fatwa on this particular site and it says that the divorce is invalid or the divorce is valid. Not knowing that there is a little difference between your situation and the situation of the person who asked the question in the first place. Therefore, one has to be careful in implementing and applying such fatwas to them, uh, to their uh, selves. Now, the question that we have here at uh, um, from Hussein. Of course, we have the uh, link or the title of islamqna.info, which I highly recommend people to visit it on a regular basis because it is a great source of information and to learn about Islam from such website. So Hussein says, is there any specific uh, a number that I can use on my shaving machine so that I can cut the hair on the side of my head? Akhi, what governs this issue are a number of things. Number one, the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, where he curses the men who imitate women. Then the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, where he tells us that whoever imitates a people, then he is from among them. And finally, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, where he prohibited al-qaza'. And what is al-qaza'? Is to shave part of the hair and to leave the other part. So, when looking at these three hadiths combined, it is not prohibited to have the hair on the top of the head longer a little bit than the hair on the sides. This is the normal haircut. Anyone among the Muslims and the non-Muslims, the normal haircut would be that the hair on the side would be a little bit shorter. What is prohibited if someone comes and he shortens it to the skin, like the Marines when they have their hair cut, they do it this way. They have the top longer, but it's almost shaven on the sides. This is prohibited. Why? Because this is imitating the kuffar, the disbelievers. Plus, it is qaza. If someone wants to make a, a mohawk haircut, like Mr. T, for example, also this is haram. This is qaza, clearly. If someone wants to 
grow his hair long and has a ponytail in a way that is feminine. He has no beard, he has nothing, but he just likes to uh, 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 have a long hair like the kuffar or the women. This is also prohibited. Some football players may come and have weird haircuts. So probably you'll find someone just shaving a line on the top of his head or on the side of his head while the other hair is normal, but he just has a line here uh, uh, shaven. Of course, this is haram. This is qaza, which the Prophet prohibited, alayhi salatu wasalam. Unfortunately, I was told that some Muslims may do such haircuts. As a Muslim, I have an identity. And my identity does not require you to wear this hutra, which I'm wearing on my head. It doesn't require you to wear a thobe, the white thobe, which is the long shirt that I'm wearing. No, no, this is not part of the identity. This is a cultural thing. The identity is to be identified as a Muslim by not following the footsteps of the disbelievers. So shaving your beard is totally prohibited in Islam. This is part of your identity and it's mandatory and obligatory to grow it. Having a normal hair cut is part of your identity because when, once you do something that is not normal, then you have uh, um, changed your route into a different path, which is not the straight path. So normal haircut is okay. But if you put these hadiths that I had mentioned in mind, and before you make a haircut, you ask and consider, in this case, inshallah, you will be uh, safe.